Hi guys, so I'm back with a new video and let's talk about Motel X again. So today I'm here with a more chilled kind of video. I'm just here to like recap the days that I went to the horror festival Motel X um, and yeah, I'm just here to tell you a bit more about the festival uh, in case you want to come and yeah without further ado let's get into it so if you've seen any of my previous videos not only this year but also from previous years I've done a few videos now about the festival but this year was like a lot <laughs> Uh, this year not only I went to almost every day, there was two days that I wasn't uh, able to go uh, but this was the year that I saw the most movies uh, because previously I went to like two days, three days max uh, but this year I went all in and not only I really wanted to go, like my goal was to go every day, I wasn't able to, but hopefully next year. But uh, also this year, as uh, I said in my first vlog, I got a press pass, so I was able to go watch movies that I wasn't planning on watching, which was pretty cool because I got to discover some new movies and yeah i'm here to tell you uh all the movies that i've watched this year and then like tell you a bit more about the festival so this year as i said i went to five out of the seven days and i've watched the green knight jacob's ladder the 1991 the amusement park in the earth the deep house the night the night house three and the feast uh so i'm not gonna tell you about all of these films obviously so because uh, otherwise i would be here like all day but i've talked about some of them in my previous videos uh just like a rundown i gotta say that my least favorite was probably the green knight which is a shame because i was not only pretty excited about that one but it was also the opening day uh, the opening night the first uh, film that i've watched so not a good start but luckily uh, it did got better and uh, like my top three was probably in the earth the feast and the deep house uh, i'm planning on doing reviews for the deep house and the feast the feast is about to come out like it's supposed to come out in november i think so i might do a proper review on that one because it was one of my favorites uh but yeah i really really enjoyed the deep house and it's not out yet i think uh, so when it is i highly recommend you go watch it um yeah uh, I'll probably talk a bit more uh, when I do a proper review, but it's one of those that it it really makes you anxious. Uh, so yeah, I I love that. So those were the films that I've watched, the films the film that I wasn't a big fan of. I didn't really love the night either, but it had potential. Uh, I was uh, engaged, but then it just. It was a bit predictable and like cliche uh, but yeah and the ones that i've liked now let's talk about a bit more about the festival in case you want to come so the festival it's uh mostly hindi films horror obviously um some of them go to the cinema but most of them are those films that either go straight to VOD or just make the festival run uh, which is really nice because I got to see like In the Earth in a big screen as well as the amusement park so it's films that uh, I wouldn't be able to watch at a theater uh, 
um, so it's really nice. They also have awards not only for short films, which is really nice, but also for features. And The Feast was actually the winner this year. Uh, so yeah, it's really well deserved. Apart from films, they also have events and master classes. This year I didn't uh, go to any, but in 2018 I got to meet Liwanel and um, go to his like master class, which is really interesting. And in 2019 uh, I got to do the same with Ariaster. So they have pretty good guests. And last year, because of the pandemic, it was a bit uh, more difficult to get people, like directors, uh, to come. But they did a Zoom call with Takashi Mik. I didn't go to that, but I, it's really interesting. So usually they have like a special guest or multiple guests. I remember in 2000 and. 19 uh, the directors of the lodge were there as well so they usually have a ton going on which is also really nice and in case you want to come uh, i would say like the easiest for me was to go by train and you go to Rosio and then you just have to walk like 10 to 15 minutes to get to the theater. Basically everything is in the Saint George cinema, so it's all in one place. Uh, and for me it was better to go by train, but you can also go uh, by subway, underground, whatever. And you get off uh, in the blue line, uh, in Avenida, so yeah. I forgot to mention that they also have a kids section. It's usually in the morning and it's called Lobmao. It's like a bad wolf, uh, the translation. And this year they had Spirited Away. So yeah, if you have kids or something, there's also a kids section, which is super interesting. In terms of when it happens, it usually happens around September. And I can tell you that next year it goes from the 6th to 12th of September, in case you want to start planning your trip or something. Um, prices. Uh, I think this is something that you all want to know. Uh, so the normal ticket is 4 euros and 50 cents. They have like some discounts. Like if you're under 25, the tickets are 4 euros as well as if you're above 65. So there's a little bit of a discount. You can also get a pack of 5 films uh, and that is 17 euros. However, you can only get that pack in the cinema, so you have to go there which is not the best thing for someone that comes from other countries because some of the movies might be sold out uh, already. So I wouldn't recommend that for people that come from other countries, but it is a good deal, but yeah. The opening and closing movies of the festival are also a little bit more expensive. They're like five euros, not a lot, but just so you know that if you want to watch like the opening or the closing film, it is more expensive. But the events, so if you want to go to a master class, as I said, like they had uh, with Liwanel or Ariaster, those events are free. Uh, but you do have, uh, at least in the previous years when I went, um, you have to like go to the cinema to get your ticket. It's like first come, first served. Uh, so, yeah, you don't know if it is sold out or not. So, yeah. In terms of seats, they usually are first come, first served basis. But this year and uh, last year, you had like a proper seat. Uh, your ticket had a seat attached to it because of the pandemic. You know, you had to have safety uh, and... Yeah, but usually it's like a queue and you go, you get to the queue and you pick your seat the day that of the session, like 
it's like a general admission ticket with no seats uh, attached to it. Also, they do have merch. This is actually one of the merch that they had from previous years. Uh, yeah, I had to get a saw one. They also have uh, hereditary, at least from previous years. But they also have like the Mutal X like t-shirts. And this year they had a hoodie, which was really nice. I just didn't have the money for it. Uh, but yeah, they uh, every year they come up with different designs for the festival uh, so as well for the merch so there's that this year they also had djs outside uh, at night like in an area where they had like drinks and stuff so that was a nice touch it had like a, created a nice vibe and overall it's like a really nice vibe because you know everyone that is there is there for the horror movies it's horror lovers and yeah I I I don't have any complaints um, yeah every everyone is nice the place is clean and yeah I just it, it just has a, a nice vibe that I, I just love and yeah guys I guess I covered everything uh, if you want to know anything else that I didn't say just ask in the comments uh, you can also um, check out their website, I'll leave it in the description. And yeah, I hope this was helpful. If you want to know more about the movies that I've watched this year, uh, tell me in the comments and I might do a proper review. There's already a review for The Green Knight, uh, Jacob's Ladder, The Amusement Park and In the Earth. But if you want a proper review from any of the other movies, let me know in the comments and yeah if you like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and i'll see you in my next video bye